Media Access Australia. Inclusion through technology. Unless you have a child that's hearing impaired or deal with children that have a hearing impairment, you don't know how hard it is. I would hope that um, every one of my fellow principals is out there um, looking for opportunities and ways of providing for the needs of every student. I mean, it would be help. The Classroom Access Project is the, is the work of Media Access Australia looking at educational settings and trying to find a solution for students who are hearing impaired. We actually look at mainstream access solutions that are practically based and easily accessible and then what we do is take those into a real world situation and the Classroom Access Project, which is what we're talking about, is a good example of that. It was one of those projects that I immediately jumped at a chance to be involved in because we have a number of students who have um, hearing impairment and we want to try and improve the outcomes for all of our students. So we needed perhaps to educate ourselves a little bit about how we could actually best meet their needs. Students who are hearing impaired or deaf need captions. So what we've looked at, how can we give them clear captions and good sound. And what's just a simple package we can put together? And that's what the classroom access is, is a simple package for schools. So an interactive whiteboard as a focal point, a sound field system that's linked to that, a laptop that's linked wirelessly to the sound field system, and then captioned content. Well, Katie has um, no hearing in one ear. So her needs are, if she, misses something. If there's noise going on, girls, you know, talking beside her and things, she can't filter that out. you're watching, want you to think about those things, well stop it. The sound field system lifts the sound up and over the background noise and that spreads sound evenly across the classroom. With the microphone passing around, it's kind of more sedate in the class and everyone does contribute to the classroom but it's more valued. The sound field is, is fantastic and it, it works really well and I will be sad when I'm not in there to use it and I, I would love to have other classes in there as well. I think it's great, I wish we could have it in every class because I tend to have to strain all the time and in terms of voice saving it's, it's, much, more, um, yeah, it's much more efficient. The one area that is glaringly devoid of good captioning is the classroom. And of course the problem with that is it's where everything starts. So the kids who are hearing impaired, we want to make sure that they're not disadvantaged from the word go, which is why classroom access project and use of captions in a school is so important. And to put it simply, we just say, without captions, the classroom is not complete. Well, lena has got a severe hearing loss and having that loss, um, she depends a lot on lip reading. In class, she's got her FM, which helps her a lot. She does need a lot of visual tactics to um, pick up on things. She always has. We've got an accessible education database so that teachers and students can actually key into that database and find a way to find captioned titles. They really help a lot for me um, understanding what the movie's about and not just, you know, not paying attention and being, so if I have like question on that um, topic, I'll be able to answer it. Usually I lip read a lot and say the background music is really loud or the person's not facing me. When that's happening, I can't really understand what they're saying, but with captions on, I, re I get the whole idea what the picture is and what's going on, and it helps, yeah, it helps a lot. But the interactive whiteboard allows teachers and students as well to interact with content directly, but as this is a pilot, we want to see how far we can go with this solution. It has adjusted our, our teaching. It's made me more aware of um, general kind of classroom setups and behaviours and, and, and um, some of those 
less kind of formal things that, that you would you would change. It's made me think a lot more about um, facing the students more directly and, and talking to them, not giving out bits of paper while I'm giving instructions, um, stopping them talking when, when I'm talking and when other students are talking, which you try to do anyway, but I'm a lot, a lot more conscious of it. Of it now. Self-esteem is so basic to the ability to belong and to learn and if someone is happy and someone feels accepted and included well they'll learn. With the great quality of sound they've had through the sound field and all of the technology coming together they've said okay let's make the best of what we have and so the feedback has been has been very very positive. I would hope that everyone takes the opportunity of, of um, of taking up a project such as this one. We're just very fortunate that we were the ones who were offered the opportunity to become involved right at the grassroots. I think it's a great benefit for everybody. So you're just not doing it for that, you know, group of children. Every child in the school, there's not a child in the school that couldn't benefit from a room like this. It doesn't have to be a handful of children with a hearing problem. Even if it's just that one child, they will benefit and, and they're just as important as everybody else. Without it, it kind of feels like a bit empty and a bit hollow, but with it, it's like having surround sound being at the movies and, yeah, it's the, the sound is a lot better and, yeah, the projector's pretty good too. I think it's fantastic, really. That's all I can do. I think it really helped students a lot better. A lot. Media Access Australia. Inclusion through technology.